A key witness claims that he saw a Navy sailor in the area where a fire ignited aboard the USS Bonham Richard last year. The testimony came on the second day of a preliminary hearing for Ryan Mays. Our ABC 10 News investigative reporter Jennifer Kastner was inside the courtroom today and has this new information. Tuesday marked the second day in court for the 20 year old sailor accused of setting the Bonham Richard warship on fire two summers ago, which injured at least 70 people and took four days to knock down. ABC 10 News's cameras captured video Monday of Seaman Ryan Mays in his uniform and white hat and his defense team walking into the courthouse at Naval Base San Diego for the start of his preliminary hearing. That determines if there is enough evidence for the case to go to trial. Our cameras were not allowed inside the courtroom where on Tuesday prosecutors described described him as a SEAL dropout who hated the Navy. They called witnesses who said he was disgruntled and combative, but the defense confirmed with those witnesses that it was not uncommon to run into bitter sailors and dissatisfied SEAL dropouts who were reassigned to work on the ship. Prosecutors questioned one key witness, a fellow sailor, who said that right before the fire, he saw Mays in coveralls and a mask carrying a bucket that appeared to have something in it, and that he was walking into the lower V storage area, which is where agents say the fire started. That witness said he never wanted to get Mays in trouble. But the defense argued that that witness had inconsistencies in his statements to authorities, at one point telling agents he was, quote, kind of sure it was Mays because he didn't see the person's face which had a mask on. Prosecutors played clips of video interrogations between him and NCIS, where at one point Mays made counter accusations at the agent and suggested the agent was lying. Another witness, a sailor, described the moment Mays discovered he was being taken to the brig. She said that he mumbled, I'm guilty. I guess I did it. It had to be done. This August, unsealed documents revealed possible sabotage of the firefighting efforts and tampering of evidence. A separate Navy report concluded that there were sweeping failures by both crew and command, calling the fire preventable and unacceptable. The hearing will continue on Wednesday. Jennifer Kastner, ABC 10 News. After last year's fire, the Navy put together a new group to help avoid future fires on naval ships. Coming up new at 530, we're going to have a closer look at who will make up the group and the policies they'll enforce.